We been hanging outside. Ain't going in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the question of the day is, who we outside with today? It's a new segment, new year, first interview of the year. Who we outside with, man? Yeah, man, we got Rashad Young, Warner Robin, 478. We outside, man. <laughs> who are you and why should we care about you, man? Hey, look, I'm Rashad Young. Personally, the music I bring... A lot of it come from real life experiences and pain, man. So you got to check that out because everybody going through the same thing. So you got to come on and check the music out for real because it's all in the music. All right, so I'm going to explain what we what we doing here, man. Uh, we ain't going to dive too much into your personal life or anything like that. We're going to dive into the culture, man, because everybody wants to know what's going on in the culture, right? But the most important question before we dive into that, I always have to premise this. How is your mental health, man? Like, how's your mental state? Hey, look, it rocky. You know, some days better than others, but we still maintaining and rolling. I what you what you mean by that when you say rocky? People say that. You People know. ask me that. Hey, how you doing today? Man, I'm doing good. But really, they not doing good. So what you mean by that? You know, sometimes we deal with our own anxieties on certain things. You know, whether that's take care of your kids, your job, where your net dollar going to come from. You know, make sure all your family members in good health. Just little small life things, little normal things, you know. When come we getting older, I like to call them growing pain. I feel that. I feel that, man. Give, give the people some advice, man. People be down like that, man. People need to know how to get up out there. So, give them some advice on how to get up out that slump, man. Talk to them. Hey, listen, number one thing with me is, man, just always check on your people, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you know something wrong, you know something going on, you can sense it, you can feel it, man. Just call in, check on your people. If you got to get them out the house, try to get them out the house. If you, you know, if you one of them people that you can talk to one-on-one, talk to them one-on-one. But, yeah, definitely. Make sure make sure to keep yourself sane and your people around you sane, man. Just make sure you check on your people, man. We lose too many people nowadays, and, you know, it's always a bunch of what else. Yeah, you know, stuff like that. So just check on your people now, man. You only got one lot. Use it. All right, so let's get into it, man. The question is, why why you even do music, man? Like, what's your inspiration behind that? Like, dive into that. Because I can feel it, man. Music gave me this feeling that I don't feel for nothing else. Like, I feel connected to my music. I feel connected to my music just like, you know, I got a string connected to me and it controlled me and it, 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 it. it just, I don't know, it just give me a feeling, man. I love it. I right, check it. I, I want to know something else, too, right? Like, uh, I want to know one of your best verses you ever heard. Not not necessarily something that you wrote. And then, I mean, if you ain't got an answer to the question, we can just come back to it later. But what is the best verse that you heard that, that you know off top? You ain't got to rap it in there. You just give the people the name and the title of the song. You know what I mean? All right, so... My favorite verse route. My favorite verse route. It's a long verse, I ain't gonna get it to it, but it probably that um sorry verse with from Andre three thousand. <laughs> if that sorry verse with him and Ti, that probably one of my favorite verses because he was like really letting you know like I'm sorry, he telling his people like I'm sorry I've been standoffish and I've been gone and I'm sorry for everything that I've been through, man. But you know I just want to step back from everything. It's just like I done did it all, I done seen it all. I'm kind of just comfortable now, but yeah, definitely one of the three. So speaking on three and all that, you know what I'm saying um. The people want to know some information, man. What's your top five rappers of all time? Top five? Yeah, top five. All, all time? time? Now, now we, we going to premise this now because you got some people that shouldn't even be mentioned, you know what I'm saying, that we can go ahead and just X out off the rip. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can't say Tupac. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Tupac ain't in my top five. All right, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. You <laughs> can't say Biggie. You know what I mean? So... Who else would be the guy Like uh, Jay Z Most people would say Jay Z Most people would say Nas uh, A lot of people would say Wayne 
my top five, my number one, it gonna be three stats. My number two, if I can't put it, see, Biggie would have been my number two, but I can't put Biggie at two. So I'm going to put Cole at two. Cole might be two. Kendrick at three. Mm. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> I put Scott. I put Travis at mm. four. Well, now, okay, okay. <laughs> what, what is your – all right, look, go go to your fifth one. We'll What's your fifth? What's my fifth one that I'm really, really, really heavy on? Big boy. Big the boy. disrespect that we have on this channel today, man. I, I, I can't Big even boy. fathom the, the disrespect. This man gave a top five and he didn't even mention the light skinned, the God, the prince of all princes. You ain't even missing Drake. What are we doing? Drake ain't in my top five. Yo, you may pay music. Like, Drake, Drake, not, sick. What? Drake my six He in my top ten Drake ain't in my five This guy put Scott over Drake Cause there's a lot of Drake songs on like CC now, now they gonna have to ask you out the, the Even having an opinion <laughs> about who like that Listen you gotta I respect so what Drake do musically Let's explain your list though <laughs> Like what is your top five consist of Like what is the criteria for your top five Sound style And flow what do you mean, like Drake creating the sound and the styles and the flow? Andre three thousand came in. Andre three thousand with Drake before Drake with Drake. You feel me? I feel you on <laughs> Andre, that. Andre Andre three thousand. The reason why these but look, we ain't the band. He, Andre. He the reason why Drake can sing on these songs. We the band. Scott being there and Drake not being there. That's what we the band. Scott there because it's Travis Scott. Judge. I respect him. I respect him on the production side too now. Like you know, Scott got hit on lane that he passed through, and ain't nobody in his lane, and I don't think nobody gonna ever be able to create what he, what he had did. I, I don't facts, watch him facts. come from the bottom. Like, he was that. nobody. All right, so I, I I can't I can't change your list and <laughs> like that. I can only debate you on your list. That's all I can do. But uh, you know, what I'm saying we can agree to disagree. All right, so look, we gonna dive into the culture right now. Right. All right. Let's do it. Um. So I know you see this YSL case going mm -hmm, on. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the recent videos of YSL Woody and this three-hour-long investigation? Uh, yeah, I done seen it. I done seen it broke down. I want to know what's your opinion on snitching. What is your thoughts? Um, stuff like how, how you feel like some of this stuff should transpire before it hit the light. How you feel about? I'm gonna be situation? real, realistic. It gonna be people in your camp that not gonna really be on you like that. Like they just around cause they there. It's a safe haven. It's a, it's a different lifestyle change. You know they come from rags to riches. There's a lot of people want to see you at the bottom. There's a lot of people want to see you. You know not succeeding. Like you know when you good you good, but when you down bad, you know they they'll drag your name through a lot of things. The whole thing about why YSL is a lot of them were moving kind of sloppy anyway. So, you know, free thug, obviously. Free, thug, free the big slime. Free, free thug. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, but you know, if people was an informant for 11 years, there's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of information out there that he ain't been able to tell and get away with. So, yeah, and then not only that, when they let him out of interrogation, he posting on the ground. He posted some pictures about his caption had to do with loyalty. So, man, sometimes you just got to watch them for us around you, for real. That's a fact, man. So, the question, like, what what do you consider snitching? Like, what is snitching? Like, people got it all misconstrued. Personally, what everybody saying Gunner did, I don't think Gunner snitched. He just took a plea. You know, a lot of people take a plea because if they can't, they can't. The thing from with me on my personal end, from what I read about the plea is, they can't use nothing in his plea against your thug, personally. And they just on gonna K, but the whole YSL camp or artists to a please. So you can't just be mad at one artist and not getting on the other ones if you feel as if they snitching. Now snitching, if you really get down, get dropped down, busted, and you run in there and you tell them people what they want to hear. So they can use the court against it, man. Then yeah, but ain't nothing been actually 
said from Gunner's standpoint. It'd be wait, 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 wait. But Gunner literally set up there and said that YSL is a game. You know what I mean? But the state already know that. And he said it need to stop. And he was in a he was in a car with Young Thug when they got pulled over in the traffic stop, and they indicated that it wasn't his. So they mean they had to be thugs. It don't necessarily mean it was thugs. Well, now the street saying that's that's snitching. Now it's, that's the debate. Yeah. Look, look, look. I'm gonna put it like this. Gunner already got the snitch stamp. Yeah. And, have you have you seen the recent news of his lawyer saying that he still don't have to testify and he's saying that gun is not a slave? You seen that? Yes. How you feel about that? How you like what you think? I mean, if Gunner is who he say he is, he'll, I he mean thorough. he should So so you stand on Gunner not a snitch? Gunner ain't really we don't know what Gunner said. We ain't seen I, the paperwork I, I, yet. Okay, now, okay, I'm all about okay, a paperwork we, part. We literally seen him Heard him audio video say what he said. Now the other ones we haven't, we haven't seen, seen what's on that paperwork or the yeah. audio, but we know they took the same plea. But they all got they all got crazy pleas anyway. The pleas are basically you walk at your house at nine o'clock at night. Okay, okay, you going to jail. Okay, okay. <laughs> I understand. So, right, so it, why sell Woody? So gunning out a snitch. Why sell Woody? Why sell Woody snitch? Okay, it's okay, plain okay, and simple. Okay. He told it all. Okay, okay I got it. <laughs> I got. It. I got. It. Now, you if know. a video come out of gunner interrogation and you know he's singing, he's telling it all, then yeah. I mean, according to his lawyer, they don't got no video of gunner in an interrogation. You know, what I'm saying like he he came out and said that as well. Like he didn't get interrogated. So okay, yeah, you know I mean. All right, so switching gears, right? You you know, you've been in a relationship before, right? I have. All right, so kind of break down your relationship. Was it, it, it smooth? Was it was it toxic? Was it rocky? Was it good? Like, how, how would you explain that as a relationship as a whole? I mean, one was real rocky, but it wasn't bad. Then I had another one I just wish things were dealt with in a different type of manner, but at the same time, man, you know, I still keep rolling with the puncher. Me though, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Toxic though right now. So I feel, I feel. You know. So <laughs> speaking on that, all over the blogs, all over the internet, man, we got Chris Sean and Blue, man. Like, what you feel about how you how you feel about Chris Sean and Blue? I, don't, I ain't feeling it. Cause I don't I can't tell who the I can't tell who the instigator or not, cause she got some thumpers. <laughs> And like I don't know, I just don't like seeing it. But they young at the same time. Everybody done been through crazy relationships, man. So, so, so it just like it just like I don't know. It just weird seeing it play out in person. Like, like seeing it in real time. Cause like I don't know, bro. Like I done seen videos of him swinging on her daddy. I done seen videos of her arguing with his mama. And sister, so it's just crazy. So you wouldn't be a part of a relationship like that? Nah, nah, me. You can't so get me like that. So if you was in a relationship like Blue, you know what I'm saying, with this being like yeah. up under the spotlight and everything, like somebody that's abusive, she toxic, she doing all this stuff, and you know you can't She wouldn't be around me. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. You know you necessarily can't do the same thing back to her, but you put her in a position where she elevated now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now you gotta deal yeah. with her elevation and yo yo rise to fame is kinda declining. So you kinda piggybacking off of her right now cause she bringing in the money. Yeah. Like, would it be a situation where you just ride that thing got cause she bringing in the yeah. money? Or would you just Here's switch up? You just switch up and say, Man, forget chick, I'ma just go back to square one doing what I was doing. This is a thing though. Cause I was good without you, you know what I mean? I, this I, a thing, how would you though. move? How would you move? You could tell about blue fade music. He don't care about that. He don't take nothing seriously. <laughs> so, I mean, and she obviously she young man. This might be the first time she done ever had to deal with somebody on that type of level, even just dude. And you could tell, or if you know her story, know her background, you know she ain't come from the most stable household anyway. And so you know, this might be the closest thing she know about somebody caring about her. Baltimore, she from Baltimore, ain't her? You know what I'm saying? And I know met Baltimore. I done met a couple of women from Baltimore before, and they really get down like that for real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so switching gears, you know what I'm saying? We'll pivot back to the snitching, you know what I mean? All right, let's do it. So recently, we had Boosie in the, in the Vlad interview. Okay. <laughs> right? 
And him and T.I. had an album coming out. Now, after that interview, a boosted explaining he had a take coming out with T.I. In the news, we weren't going to say a couple months ago. Yeah. T.I. saying that he snitched on his cousin that was dead to get out of the charges yeah. that he had. And he said his cousin came to him from the dead and told him that he had his wishes to do that. <laughs> now, do you consider that snitching? Like snitching on the dead? Is that snitching, or is like what is that? Thank you, bro. <laughs> if I look, keep it real, bro. If I'm gone and I know I can get my people off, we gonna already done had that discussion. Like, look, just go on ahead and just go on ahead and you like it. So you go you, home. You, you, you let that slide. If it me, if I, if I'm the one gone, okay, okay, like, hey. Just go ahead and woo woo woo, and just tell them oh it did that. But see, all the thing about Boosie though, you know Boosie took that ride. Facts. So he see life a little bit differently than everybody else see it. Cause he was he beat Death Row like word word. <laughs> but do you know why he beat Death Row though? I don't know all the details now. So he it was, it was a guy that is a bona fide killer. Mm-hmm. I don't want to. I ain't gonna say his name, but if you know, you know. Bonafide killer. He got. He was a hitman for Boosie mm-hmm. and a couple other niggas. He got so many bodies they can't connect the pieces to Boosie. But what one murder that they did connect to Boosie, he got. He got Boosie locked up. Now the guy knew that he was gonna get life in prison because he got all these bodies and it came up. He went ahead and said that he was gonna tell on yeah. Boosie to get his sentence lighter. That's why Boosie was in jail. But then something miraculously happened, and then Buddy redacted his statements, and that way got Boosie released. Uh, now, the question of the day is, is Boosie wrong for saying that he not going to do the tape with T.I. no more? I'm going to keep it real. They, they, you know, if they personal partners, I feel like Boosie could have pulled tilt to the side and been like, hey, man, you know, it cousin, la, 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 shit. But, you know, we don't live in that world no more. Everything goes straight to the internet. And so, <laughs> so I mean, you know, Boosie or title to his opinion, though. You feel me? Like, he might feel some type of way about it. But I feel like if they real good personal partners like that, Boosie should have been a, should be able to just call them up and they can chop that up outside and leave that, you know, for the streets okay. instead of, you know, for the general population, cause the thing with the thing with rap right now, bro, is you got people that's not familiar with the culture, so they take the narrative and spin it. Mm. And that's where I come in, and I'm always looking at stuff from, well, you know, Vlad interview infamous for, you know, propaganda. I like to say, for the clickbait all right so kicking it deal way man we we got more news that's like ridiculous right now so <clears throat> excess and tassion man do you feel like that was my god my god oh rp the x do you feel like drake had anything to do with that murder man <laughs> man i'm gonna be on it bro nah because the dude that did it was moving sloppy anyway like the guys who who did the crime, committed the murder, after you get all the evidence out, you start to see that they were moving wrong anyway. So, like, you know, you get on the ground with 50,000 and you flexing the change in the air. Then you shortchange your other partner and he done told it all. So, <laughs> so, so say to say Drake ain't got nothing to do with that. Okay. So moving on to you know more news, right? Playboy Cardi, have you seen the, the, what he was going through in the news? You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, how you feel about Playboy Cardi music, and then how you feel about the situation that they claiming that he did? I fought with Playboy Cardi. I fought with his music. Like, <laughs> let's keep it real. Like, I fought with bro from from his broke boy era to. The red ear, the red. So you whole, like a whole lot of red. Whole lot of red. Album. That's a tape, yeah. I ain't no way you listen to that tape since it got released, bro. No, actually, I really bought that tape. Man, <laughs> that's crazy. I bought that tape. 
That's the worst album of all time. I didn't like it when it first dropped, but worst. but the problem is with that tape, bro, TikTok. But I can go on TikTok for days. Mario Judah did a better rendition. A whole lot of Mario Judah did do a whole oh, better, that. a whole lot of red tape. Like, come on, that's what I'm saying. That's how. But I'm, I'm saying. more of a Travis fan anyway, so you know. All right, all right. So what you think about the situation and him beating I up mean, women? I mean, he crashed out. I mean, he crashed out on his baby. <laughs> But from I seen some more information from Iggy Azalea that that ain't the first time he done crashed out. I'm pretty sure it ain't. Like so, these dude that be on these drugs. They yeah, crash he done crashed out. He done so, crashed out. But I mean, he grown man. He know the situation. Facts, facts. I, I know you. I know you probably pretty familiar with Charleston White, man. What's what's your uh, what's your thoughts on Charleston, man? Yeah. Like like. I feel like he be speaking some real shit. Like, what's your thoughts on him? I'm going to keep it G, bro. <laughs> OG real. OG real, real about what he be on, bro. It ain't no cap in here rap, bro. He just real, bro. You can't stop no man like that. He a dangerous man. Any man like that, dangerous. You can't. It ain't no cap in here rap. Like, he really stand on what he be saying, bro. Like, and the thing is, you got rappers out here, you know, everybody be joking with dirt, like Sly for Vaughn. But but Charles and White really be like y'all talking about all these killing and shooting, but y'all ain't checking on these folk mamas. And I'm sending these folk mama money and helping them out, shit like that. So I mean, it just he ain't no capping, bro. Rap, bro. I just hope nothing happened to him. So you can separate the internet antics from what he do in real life. Like you can do that. Yeah, bro, cause that internet shit just for view the clicks, like, like I can get on the internet today and just crash out, crash out, and then I could be like, well, man, I'm finna drop this song, gonna crash or not, and then they gonna be like, well, I gotta hear him drop this song, gonna crash or not, and if it hot, it gonna say it. I mean, you gotta have personality, say he got personality, he silly. Me personally, I rock with Charleston White. I think he a genius. I like what he doing. He's shaking up the internet. If I could do the same thing, bro. If I could figure out how to do the same thing, I'd do it too. It's just like, come on. Ain't nobody would do it. Because I'm actually doing real work in, in real life. I'm just playing the internet character. Like, all these rappers ain't who they say they rapping about to be. Nope. They all characters. So A lot of rappers I? coming up now, bro. You know, back in the day, like, them rappers were really coming from that struggling lifestyle. Some of these rappers low key got it good. <laughs> they low key come from good environments, bro. So. I don't know, bro. It's just a game. Like, you just got to learn how to tap into the game, I guess, bro, because I'm starting to see it more and more and more. But I also not heard, and it's probably off topic, but I also not heard the genre of hip-hop has started to decrease in sales lately in the last year or so. So, I mean, the trap phase, don't nobody know it, but that trap phase is phasing out. That trap genre phase is starting to die out because a lot of your... A lot of your artists that were mixtape heavy artists back in the day pivot into album sales. So everything's starting to be commercialized. It ain't the music ain't there no more. Word. So this the last segment, right? So this this part of the interview, right? Basically, you're gonna give yourself an ad, right? Like people that don't know you, they, you want them to go check you out. Like they basically you get this your commercial. So you tell them where to find your music at, why they should listen to your music, you know what I'm saying? Like just, just break it down for the people. Like they basically your ad, brother. Like break it down. Hey look. <laughs> hey look, man, Rashad Young, four seven eight, great. Go check out that please forgive me tape. Go check out that preaching pain. Go check out that new record, emotionally unavailable. You know, I got something for everybody. Hey, go check out the rider. If you with your girl and y'all riding out in the city, go check out that rider. You know, if you if you riding out, you on that drink, you chilling, and you know you in your feeling. But that preaching pain, man. You and your old lady ain't together no more. Or she playing game with you, go ahead and point that emotionally unavailable. Like, I got what you need, you know, unlike the dope man. I got what you need, you know. I can I can get you your fix. So go ahead and check me out, man. And that's who we outside with. Ah.